A lot of you may not be aware, but a couple weeks ago, our youth director, Diana Pace, went on a mission trip to, where was it again? Guatemala. I had two places in my head, Guatemala or Honduras. I knew it was one of them. And uh, she contacted Kelly and I this week and said, hey, I have a small slide presentation I'd like to do, so we're going to drop that into the service here, and she's going to tell us about her week of doing, being God's hands and feet in Guatemala. Guatemala is a beautiful country full of beautiful things and interesting things to behold, such as the chicken bus, uh, which is basically the Guatemalan transportation for the public. Um, And it also has modern conveniences in the city, like La Casa del Waffle. (laughs) Um, But as you enter the countryside, you will quickly find some of the challenges, such as that zigzag road, which usually is a two-track, barely paved. Um, There are lots of mountains and, as you can see, volcanoes. (laughs) Um, That one is actually active, but uh, it was not making any rumblings, so we went to go see it. Um, A lot of the people in Guatemala wear American clothing or Western clothing, but some of them will wear the traditional dress that you see here. And um, the men's clothing is just as colorful. It looks like, oh, I don't have it there, but it looks like um, patchwork quilts, kind of like this beautiful quilt there. That little boy is wearing it on the right. Um, The towns and marketplaces are colorful and bright, and um, I found that they were fun and safe, um, kind of touristy. A lot of folks actually visit from Europe and America. Um, This is the more rural town that we stayed in, of Chichi Castanego, and um, as you can see, that is a wall with barbed wire on it, and um, the builders created an extra safety measure by putting broken glass on top. A lot of the more um, affluent neighborhoods will have walls around each of the houses. And our mission actually had a guard, um, which is common and not supposed to be scary, as was explained to us. But um, there was a little bit of uh, danger, so they wanted to make sure we were safe and taken care of. This is where Guatemala is. It is south of Mexico and um, next to Belize. Um, We stayed in Chichi Castanego, which is uh, north of Lake Atitlan, if you've ever heard of that. It's a beautiful lake with volcanoes around the outside. Um, We stayed at Manos de Jesus, which is uh, the mission there. If you um, go there, a lot of them will call it, a lot of the missions will call it Monte Flor, which means Mount of Flowers. Um, it's a beautiful property that um, they were fortunate enough to buy. 65 acres um, on the mountainside, which is pretty high um, and steep, and they have several buildings, including um, this, which is the uh, shoe factory that they built to Um, make shoes and employ people from the town to make shoes for students um, because they need nice black shoes to go to school. They can't go to school without them. The teacher will turn them away if they have holes in the shoes or anything. Um, This on the left on the top is a little boy getting his pair of shoes. It was really amazing to see the look on their faces as they received their shoes. Just such a simple thing for you and I, but for them it was what they needed. This little girl on the left, her name is um, Veronica. She's, she was so sweet. Uh, this is one of our typical breakfasts at Monte Flor, um, plantains and beans. Um, it's not chocolate sauce, no. <laughs> um, also, there were roosters everywhere, so we got our 6 a.m. awakening and our 12 noon awakening and our 3 a.m. They were crowing all the time. (laughs) This is a typical morning. We would have our breakfast and then go through the city. Um, 
On the right is their cemetery, actually. It looks like buildings, but it's uh, small mausoleums. And we would go through the city and into the rural areas to, um, on the back of a pickup truck, just holding on, <laughs> to the construction site. Um, this week that we went, we did projects of restoration on already built properties. Um, so right there in the back, that blue building, we were um, replacing some old and rotted boards that um, were kind of coming off. And then we painted it, we repainted um, with a waterproof paint. And on the right, we built um, latrines at each of the um, seven locations that we went to. Um, they already installed the toilet before we got there, but we built the outside and the roof, and it actually flushes, if you can believe that. They install plumbing, and it goes down the mountainside somehow and they into the sewer system. This photo is another project that um, Manos de Jesus works on, and it's a dental clinic that they've begun at actually at the mission. So this is the building where we stayed. Our rooms are on the left, and the dental clinic was on the right. It was a great opportunity for those folks. Um, this is the best part, the feeding centers that Monteflor um, has begun to set up. There are three in their area, and the children get to go, and um, first they, while they're waiting for the meal, they get to play um, in the yard. Um, we brought one of the young men who came with us. His name was David. Um, and he became very close to my heart. Um, he brought soccer balls for every feeding center that we went to and every of the seven um, homes that we visited for the children to play with. And so we were playing with them beforehand. Um, and then they would have the meal and a, a short Bible class with songs, which was really sweet. Um, I just wanted to put up the pictures of these children um, this one in particular my first trip to the feeding center I walked off the um, truck that we got on to get there and up we were you know going up and down the mountainside and we finally get there and she grabs my hand right away and takes me she wants me to sit with her during the class and she she just made me feel so welcome she didn't know my name and I couldn't speak Spanish, so, but I, I figured out her name was Juana, and a um, lovely little girl just wanted me to sit with her and be her friend for those few moments while we, um, we had the songs, and uh, I just want to leave you with that um, as the, the face of Guatemala, and uh, hope that you'll think of it.